Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen on the PC. It's totally a cool game. I have some new pawns, we're gonna take a really, really quick look at them. Oh, my rank is not high enough, I'm only rank 6. I just want to get to t uh, 9, I guess 9's the highest, right? Yes. With uh, Warrior here, there are a couple of really good augments that I want at the end of this chain, and then Case just needs his last, like, one or two mage things, and then we can move him onto a sorcerer. Anyway. Um, so I grabbed Elise, a fighter. Uh, she has a burst strike, soul skewer, which is like you you pin them down or like you pin them with your blade and just like whack them a couple times. Uh, it's all right. Dragon's Maw, which is really good, but it just like destroys your stamina. It's actually a really good attack. Divine Defense, which is just a shield block. Shield Storm, which is a uh, whap, whap, whap. Um, you hit them, like, really, really quick with your shield. And the goal is uh, to try to, like, cause foes to drop their guard. It's like a guard break. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but it is pretty good at breaking guards. Uh, and then Lunch Board, where she will uh, kind of, like, hunch over and use her shield as, like, hold it up like a, like a, a flat platform. And then anybody else, which is probably going to be me because I'm the only other melee character, can, like jump off of it and do like an air attack which does a good chunk of damage so that's a thing uh and then she got some good good augments and more importantly she's a scather with a secondary of a pioneer i couldn't find any pawns with like great inclinations oh my gosh there are so many like guardian inquisitor pawns which are just completely useless in combat um so then we have a new sorcerer or sorceress as the case may be fujitsuki or fujitsuki Fujutsuki. Yeah, first time I've actually paid attention to that. Also, Scather and Challenger, so real good at killing things. Um, and Sorcerers are very offensive focused, so they have some cooler spells than Mages. We've seen a few. So, um, she's got Bolide. Oh, hunched over you, like a little hunchback. Um, so Bolide is the, uh, the Meteor Strike thing. We've seen that spell a couple times with whoever the last pawn was that I just got rid of, and I'm sorry that I already forgot their name. Um, but it's cool. It's really strong. Huge area of effect, though. Uh, Grand Dingle, which is just the standard, like, shoot fireball spell. Like, little fireballs. Um, Seism, which is an earthquake. That's kind of cool. That's a sorcerer-only thing. By the way, if you look at the icon in the bottom right corner, um, where the text is, you'll see it has, the, like, the sorcerer icon. Uh, these are all sorcerer-only spells, except for Ingle. Um, we go back to Elise. Same sort of thing, but like Shieldstorm and Launchboard, you'll see that those have two icons because that means both the fighter and the assassin can use like that. Launchboard is something that if you learn with either of the classes, they can both use it. So there you go. You learned a thing. Uh, Seism uh, Execui, which is execution magic. Like it, it, it channels an area for like a significant amount of time, like a really long time. And then when the spell is done, if the enemy has been in that circle for, a, like, a really long time, it will insta-kill them. And the tougher the enemy, the longer they have to be in there, or the less likely it is to, to kill them. Um, some enemies are just immune to it flat out. High Necromancy is interesting. It's a spell that I like using a lot when I play a mage. It lets you summon a bunch of skulls that will, like, swirl around you and kind of auto-attack anything that gets close to you. So it's a good, like, um, kind of defensive spell in that it does damage to things that get close to your, your squishy mages. So, eh, kind of cool. Um, and then Petrifaction. It petrifies things. So we'll see how this goes. I generally don't like Seism, Exquay, Petrifaction. I don't think pawns are terribly effective with Necromancy. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not 100% sold, but Pajutsky, you can sell me on this. Convince me. Convince me that it's great. There we go. So that's that. Um, oh, I do need to give them a couple of things. Nope. Wrong thing. Wrong menu. Here we go. Um, I want to give them... Did I not grab their... Oh, I did. I was like, I, I thought I had uh, pickaxes for them. And then we don't have as many lanterns as I thought I had. That's fine. Uh, we'll give it to the warrior, not the mage. I don't think I have anything else to pass out to the pawns. It could give them like some curative stuff. You want fish? You guys can have some fish. You have some small fish. There you go, you're welcome. 
enjoy the fish. <laughs> and with that, let's go inside and deal with salvation. They're hanging out in the catacombs somewhere. There was supposed to be a meetup tonight, and even though it's the middle of the day, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ah, this game is generally pretty lenient about timings and that sort of thing. Half a lantern. What do I have? Oh, salvation badge, that's right. This was to get salvation people to talk to us. That's a, kind of a key item. All right, what are we going to fight in the catacombs? Rats. It's always rats. There's a fair bit of treasure down here, too. I don't remember if any of it's good. Oh, there's like light cures and stuff. That's actually not bad. Yeah, lots of curative items just hanging out in here. That's fine. Um, here's a shortcut door that we can't open yet. We have to open it from the other side. So, like, that's our first main goal is to get over to the other side, which is easy. Easy enough. Or a knife, no, but the harspa juice, yes. A lot of the junk that I pick up in this game is I basically just use for crafting later on. Uh, these sarcophagi can also cough out, like, poisonous goop when you open them. We'll see that a couple times, I'm sure. That's why I usually open them and back up. Oh, and they can also have enemies, too. Forgot to mention that. It's periapt. Not bad. Uh, we can light this. Boop. Hooray, light. I wish this game wasn't so quiet. The enemies in here... I love the sound design of the zombies. They say some of the creepiest things. Oh, stay away from that guy. I forgot, we don't want to use fire on those. <laughs> and that's meteors. That's not the fire zombie still. But, uh... Yeah, the, the big fat zombies, they explode if you hit them with fire. Maybe not the best time to have, like, a very fire-based sorcerer. There's the cursed juice that I was mentioning. Dang it. I don't think any of my pawns have any way to cure that. Oh, come on. Seriously. Let me kill it. Let me kill it. And I forget what the curse status effect does. I forget what most of the status effects do in this game. The game's not terribly clear about all of them. Ooh, money, money. All the things. More of the curse juice came out of this one. No items, that's unfortunate. Oh, it's a fat one. No, 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 don't light him on fire, you idiots. Well, it did up my vocation, so I'm fine with that. And we do want the necrophagous loin. It's very apt. Uh, lever. Yes, cutscene, showing the door open and got it. We don't need to see those, game. Okay, tell you what. I don't like whatever this curse is doing to me. I think it's screwing up my damage, maybe? Uh... Physical, magical, light cure. Yeah, that... So yes, I hope you're ready for just a lot of this. A whole lot of zombies. And they make the best sounds. I don't know why this game is so quiet. I've really tried tweaking all the settings. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Just the, the sound design here is so good. Yeah, like the sounds are really loud. But the game is just quiet. You moron. Pickaxe. Did I give a pickaxe to everybody? Don't don't fireball him. Don't fireball him. Don't fireball him. 
you... Gosh darn it. I could probably swap Case's uh, Ingle spell out for something else. I might do that when we head back to town. Just for as long as I have, like, one fire-based mage, the other one doesn't need to be fire-based as well. Gosh darn it. Did it again. Press to you, you're on your own. Hear yourselves. So I'm gonna miss. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I forgot that I have Corona Slash. I do like that Meteor spell. It's really, really cool. Uh, I meant to open the thing. Oh well, that was a really quick load. Loot it again. This is the door, by the way, the shortcut that I was mentioning. Come on. There we go. Uh, we just need to break the bar. Boop, and now we can use the door. And we can just go right, right through. For all the times that I'm going to be in the catacombs. Yeah, that's our way out, I think. It's been a little while. Okay, down here I saw flasks. I do like flasks. Flasks of water are great. Empty flasks are the best because we can fill them with whatever we want. Cash. A single small nut, sure. Oh, spiders. There we go. That's a good use of Corona Slash. that one? There we go. Alright, well, I'll just leave my pawns to pick up all the stuff. Hopefully they'll do that. I'll let you cast a spell. That's fine. Ooh, look at that. We got phantoms. That's pretty fun. At least might just have a fire sword. That might be what's going on. I was looking at so many pawns, I forgot who had what, but uh, I think Elise just has a sword that is permanently enchanted with fire. We can add other enchantments on top of it, but I think that's I think that's what's going on. I think everybody's just a fire user. Everybody but me. I'm a sword user. That one's gonna have the curse juice. You can see that it's glowing. the things. Is that a stack of books? Small coin pouch. Not what I was expecting in a stack of books, but that's fine. Second journal entry. Again, that's that's part of a quest line that we'll deal with later. Much, much later. Okay, was there anything good in here? There, there were people. Are you dead? You look dead. You're doing jazz hands. In a big way. Oh, you stopped. Oh, that was a... Apparently we had a uh, pawn guild quest. Probably just to kill a bunch of undead. That's cool. I like completing those. Nothing wrong with a little free experience for things that you're already doing anyway. Nothing in there. At all of the things. The reason I'm opening all of the things is because later on we're gonna need. Uh, it's a. You can't even call it a puzzle. We need them just to open a door. There's gonna be items hidden in a bunch of the sarcophagi. 
sarcophaguses system sarcophagum I think it's from here on out we gotta look for all the little uh, gem things oh look at this we got like actual enemies in here now I do like the little skeleton mages. They're fun enemies. They can be really annoying if you're not prepared to deal with them. Oh, I didn't charge it all the way. It's still fine. Duel of health. Oh. Not even paying attention to what's going on around me. I'm assuming my pawns are going to kind of clean up after me. Pawns are out. Oh, gosh darn it. Like, uh, it burst twice. Hair. Ooh, cash money. Dragon spit, you can have that. Uh, I don't think it matters which way we go. I think we're fighting some not tough, but tougher skeletal enemies, like the skeletal mages, and I think there's going to be like some knights in here. Yeah. And don't really have to worry about them anymore. I love the weird, like, stuttery way that these enemies move. I like their their weird, glitchy animations. I think they're really fun. There we go. That's what a warrior's for. You know what? This is irritating. Let's use another one of these. Hard bones. Yeah, I, I do want to loot all these guys, actually. I don't think we need any skulls. I think we're good on skulls. I like the empty flask though. Where was that? Is it not an empty flask for me? Nope. I'm gonna go see what's up here. I forget. I feel like there's an item in here, maybe? Maybe not. Nope. Just leads right back out to here. Oh, did I forget to light you or did you go out? Lighting all of the torches is not necessary. Oh, there's the item. Yeah, I knew there was a treasure around here that I wanted to get. This is where we need to go. Here are all the undead things down there. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Just had to double check something on the mini map there. So, going down. Boop. Oh, I think this is where we get catacomb gold. I think we can get it here. Featured gold tooth. Oh man, I'm heavy. Okay, I gotta deal with inventory management. Oh, this is by far my least favorite thing about this game is just they throw so much junk at you and then inventory management becomes a huge problem. We can just we can discard these. I don't need three rocks. We'll give the skull to someone now. Why 
Why is my inventory so stupidly full? Oh. Oh, solar armor. Snap. That came from uh, the Pawns Guild quest. So you just slowly restore health over time, very slowly, when you're in sunlight. You become solar powered. Is that actually any good? I don't remember. I don't think it is. It is not. It also has not been upgraded in the least. It might be good if I upgraded it. Probably not, though. Um, yeah, we'll just, I'm going to give it over to, hold on to that, it's stupidly heavy. What other things do I have? Oh, we have a ton of moldy apples. Oh, I need to go use these. I need to turn them into wine before they all go bad on me. Okay. I will remember to do that after we finish clearing out the catacombs. I'll probably do it off camera, because you don't need to see me doing that. Um, oh yes, oh yes, I do remember that one of my friends is in here. One of my best friends, my favorite things to fight. Knock him over. Please knock him over. Please just let me knock him over. Ooh, thunder might be good though. By the way, we're absolutely wrecking this thing. Those little weird explosions and like the little shrieking noises you were hearing, I believe that was the uh, high necromancy that Jutsuki was using. Ogre Spur, that's it, just one Ogre Spur? That's fine. I was hoping for more, but that's still fine. More cash, that's great. I would love if my pawns would start mining. Is there something else over here? Can we just not get catacomb gold? There it is, catacomb gold. Aha, I knew you could get it down here. That is fairly uncommon stuff, and it's good to have for upgrading gear later on. Doop, 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 doop. Hello. We brought cures for various ailments. They may save our lives. <laughs> And just good old-fashioned gold ore. Ah, oh, it's always good. Gold makes the world go round. Okay. That is that. So this is where we need to start looking for the keys. Gold time. Not a key, but it's still a thing. And the keys are always in the same place. I just don't remember where they are, and I can't be bothered looking them up. It's not like this is a huge problem or anything. Anyway, you just run around and open all the things, and then you fight all the other things. Really not that big of a deal. Rose ring. Check this one before I go any further. Do you have anything important in you? Direwolf cape. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I think this leads to the way out. Is this the shortcut? This is. Aha! Um, we're going to actually use that to escape, I believe. 
so I'm not gonna worry about it now. But I did open the door, so we can get in that way if we need to. Oh, maybe we don't need the keys. Maybe that's for uh, later in the game or something. I'm just gonna let this guy talk. For the soul cannot find true pleasure in this world. This world, which rises and struggles against its failures, bludgeoned by its own heedless throes. Come to join our flock, Arisen. <laughs> Is the answer, dear Arisen? Unto all things, death and chaos. This is why you don't join death cults. You'll be turned into zombie chow. So now we just gotta kill all the zombies. Not that big of a deal. They're not any tougher than all the other zombies we've been killing on our way in here. Boy, that uh, Corona Slash, that uses very little stamina for what it does. I'm totally cool with it. Oh, camera. Whoa, ho, ho, what was that all about? This game, man, this game, it has its issues. It has its rough spots, but it, there is a good game hidden in here. It just does a really good job of hiding itself. Though I suppose it's the stuff of every day to you, Arisen. I'd thank you to join me for a moment. Oh, Mason. He's the one who's really pulling the strings, isn't he? He's, he's not. He's just a cool dude looking out for all the cult people. The zealots slipped past, but at least we snared this one. An Umbla prize, to be sure, but at least he's talkative. No honor among thieves, eh? <laughs> It was just a lark, all in good fun. I, I never gave over to that rot about destruction and salvation. Never. Just the same. It'd be trouble if we let him go free. Now that he's seen the two of us together. Wait. You, you promised me. <laughs> Thanks, Mason, leaving me to clean up your mess. The Elysian spoke of you. 
said the Arisen ran counter to the tides. A, a heretic, he said. But I... I see a reasonable sort. The sort like to hear reason. I... Come, sir. What's to be gained from bloodying your hands? There's naught can stay the dragon's fire. What say we await perdition together? There's many a pleasure to indulge in ere salvation comes. I'll gladly furnish the coin. Pray, spare me a risen, that I may live to see the flame. You'll be well rewarded. Don't be a fool, sir. Surely my gold is worth more to you than my head. If you feel a foe is beyond our... Well, I don't want to talk to you. No shame in fleeing. All right. Well, at least it'll be quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he should have been chopped in half with that. Come on, game. <laughs> my, my. Didn't know if you'd have the stomach to do for an unarmed man. Suppose I was wrong to doubt it. Glad to know you're someone I can trust in times to come. And go, Deshaun. I'll send word along, friend. We'll bring this skulk of foxes to bear, you and I. Hooray! That is that quest completed. Finally. Oops. What's up there? Can we get up here? Up there? No. That's a shame. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, I guess we're taking this exit. I forgot that there are so many of them down here. Oh, are you mining? Oh my gosh! Jutsuki, you are my favorite person. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Get all the things. Okay, good enough. And after all that, we are under the giant bridge. This is where all the Saurians are. And, uh, across that bridge leads up to the wander, the, the hill with the dragon forge guy, and then, like, the, um, the dire wolves, and there's a castle up there, and all the healing springs, and all that stuff. All that stuff. It's all on the other side of the bridge. So, yeah, we're just right here. Right by Grand Soren. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. And I could just use the Eternal Fairy Stone to pop right directly into town, but... I am going to take the slow route instead. Well, I'm out of stamina. Oh, I think my torch is dead. Yeah. Or torch lantern. This thing. Ah, oh, look at that. We can see again. Okie dokie, cool. So that is that quest done. I believe we're now done with all four of the Wormhunt quests. And so the next thing to do for that whole storyline is just go turn them in. Um, I want to... You guys got cool armor. Um, I want to do a, a side quest. Plan of Opportunity, we're going to do that. And these are all just kill things, right? Yeah. So I want to do the Land of Opportunity quest. We'll do that pretty quickly in the ne next video. And then after that, I'll go turn in the Worm Hunt quest and we will progress the storyline. So that'll be cool. Um, we do need to run back to the encampment and check the bulletin board there, the bounty board because it will likely have a bunch of new quests that I can take. Just run around and kill things. Those sorts of quests. And that would be cool. That'd be very cool. 
Um, speaking of quests, I mentioned I'm going to do inventory management off camera. That's a given, though. I do that all the time. Oh, get out of the way. Jerk. I want to check these. These are worth a lot of experience and a lot of gold. Mostly a lot of gold. Um, can't... I don't think we've even seen a King Bayleaf yet. I think I know where they are, though. Um, ten kept giant fish. That's kind of difficult. This one's good because you get 10,000 gold, 5,000 experience, and then another 6,000 experience. So, that might be a good thing to do. We just have to take a Grancis herb to Selene, and she'll give us something in return, and then we bring it back here. That's not that big of a deal. 20 Seekers tokens! 200,000 gold! Not bad. Snakeskin purse. Um... We... Uh, that, that's like a really rare item. I think you like fish up in a couple of spots. It's probably not going to happen anytime soon. War bugles, we won't worry about that for now. So yeah. Um, we could maybe do the, the ten kept giant fish. I have several of them. We could have the uh, black cat forgery guy make some more. Oh, do you have any new things or not until I do the story quest? Me, I'm out. Forget when that happened. Yeah, you're not gonna have anything new. The masterworks come again. Uh, oh, we can enhance the thing. If you've caught this, the masterwork. Ooh, the direwolf cape. Ooh, direwolf pelt stuff radio all the way. What do you protect against? A little bit of ice, torpor resistance. That's not bad. Um, could upgrade some Acasa stuff. Oh, we got Salvation Robes. Solar Armor, what does that do? 248. Yeah, this is way better. Oh, we got an Agate, so I can actually upgrade his, uh, his staff all the way. It's not a great stab, and I think we're going to have access to new gear as soon as we do the worm hunt quests, as soon as we progress the story a bit. I think that's the trigger for the next round of things. I'm not positive. Anyway, I'm going to end things here, and I'm going to do all this stuff, and then next time you already know we're doing the things I just said. So thank you for joining me, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.